What's up? It's me, SniperLoyT, here today, and I'm going to be showing you all the basic guide to redstone. So this is just the basics of redstone for people who are new to redstone, new to the wiring of Minecraft. And this will just help you a bit, if that's you. Help you understand the graphs of redstone, pistons, hoppers, even how far redstone can travel. So... Over here in Minecraft, I am going to be first showing you all how to use the simple redstone. So this is redstone in the redstone category, the wiring category, if you may want to call it. So redstone, it's a really great object this little piece of dust can make a lot of awesome stuff happen in Minecraft. So, first of all, I'm just going to quickly get a lever and place it down. Now, let's test how far redstone can travel. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Will that work? Yes. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Now, any more? After this, I don't want to be bad. Right. This is the last one. None of these are just meh, normal redstone. They're not even powered. So, how many blocks is this? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 40, 15 blocks. So remember that, redstone can only travel 15 blocks. That is, unless you bring out the redstone repeaters. Now these are very helpful, as these can repeat it to make it go another 15 blocks. Now, these aren't just for repeating, although they may sound like a oh, repeater. This actually, you can right click them and set back how far that this one right here, this torch in it so by default it's one tick delay four ticks in a second so now what you can do cut cut from um there are four ticks in a second Oh, okay, yeah. Okay, so there are four different options in each repeater. One tick, two ticks, three ticks, and four ticks. Now, why might this be useful? For example, let's break this one and we'll get a sticky piston. See how often that happens. We could make it happen slightly later. So if we break this and place these. Bam. The right one is just slightly. Just, not much. Just slightly slower than the other one. And if we put it back and put one here. So this is very helpful as you can change the timings of when something will happen as you don't want everything to happen at the exact same time. Otherwise some machines will just boom, break. So now, we'll just get rid of one of these and we're going to quickly get rid of this bit of redstone over here, fill all the holes back up. Now, just simply, we'll put this down to one tick delay. With a piston, you can actually push blocks like this. So it'll push it out. A normal piston, which is 
just like this. So we'll have this one just here. Like so. When you push this block, these ones out, they'll both push out the same. But what happens when you pull it back in? The sticky one. Imagine how the stickiness sticks onto the block and pulls it back. Meanwhile, a normal person just pushes it. It doesn't pull back. There's nothing attaching onto the block. And if you want a sticky piston, you're going to have to find yourself a slime ball. Slime balls are obtained by killing the baby slimes. So now, how far can a slime, slimy piston, or sticky piston, as they are called, um, push blocks and retract? So, let's first of all, let's see if it can push one, but it'll only pull back one. So, it'll push them all, but it'll only pull back the one closest to it, the one which is grasped. But how many can it push? 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. See if this will work. Yes! But we'll fill this one gap in and nothing happens so it can only push up to 12 blocks anything more you well you're out of luck mate nothing will happen okay so next stop we have our hoppers these are one of the more cool parts of minecraft so these things simply when you shift right click on a pc version as if you, when you right click you can access their interface kind of like a chest but these things will make items travel so this is side direction so if they're pointing this way so you place it facing into the other hopper or where you want to put it you're going to actually have to shift right click on the hopper so now what will happen these are facing into each other which will mean a block will travel so if you put it in here, then you go in here, 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 and then here. But I want to make it face into the ground so that we can have a chest here. Okay, so what we're going to do, you can have it go like this. But that's not always the best case. As what you can do, you can have it so I'll quickly hop over here and make all these happen. Face into that and that. So now what will happen? We're gonna actually break this one to see if it'll go down or across. So if I just put let's just put another hopper in there. Where will it go? It'll actually travel down. So hoppers by default always go down. Unless, however, this is full. Or, when it's full, it won't stack if you put a different block in there. And now this will go across into the chest. So now, hoppers will always travel down unless they can travel across when the, um, when the hop is full. So keep that in mind when you're making your awesome creations. So now, all we're gonna do, we're gonna get it into this. I'm gonna use this example hopper, put it in, and I'll travel across and into the chest. Now, chests and hoppers can use comparators. So in the redstone interface, you will find redstone comparator. Now these work the same, with normal hoppers and chest. So now, you, you see this is lining up. Why is that lining up? Now, my friends, that is lining up because there's something in here. Comparative sense if there's something inside what it's pulling from. So this bit here is pulling from side there. So now, if we have a redstone repeater, and some redstone dust, it will give us a nice redstone signal. However, if there isn't any in there, there's no redstone signal. So what actually 
happens is that the reason you need a redstone repeater there is because that it only gives a one block output but if you say one two this is something actually really cool that you can do with these so if you right click this little front torch it'll light up and then if you make the output go into the side you ready for what happens this actually triggers a clock so this is a very easy way to make a redstone clock say instead of using the old-fashioned the get a redstone torch quickly play some break and there you go you've got a clock so you can have this which only happens when you've got an item in here as soon as i take it away bam clock stops or keep it in clock happens or you can have a permanent clock which we have to use resident torches for mind you though comparators do use quartz so you must have gone to the nether which as you all know or should know you need to get to the nether obsidian and a flint and seat and steel or some sort of fire to light it so what you're gonna have to do is kind of simply one two three one two three and stop light it and inside the nether you will find the wonderful quartz which can be used to make this wonderful device over here mind you I'm actually going to quickly break the portal because that is taking a lot of space. And what you can do, you can get a cauldron. Yeah, I know it might sound funny, but a cauldron, a water bucket, and a comparator. So, of, of course, comparator is not going any signal. But when you fill it with a water bucket, it actually gets a signal. It also helps that with when you have a sticky piston pushing something, there are certain blocks which can't be moved. As in, you can't move hoppers, you can't move chests, you can't even move cauldrons, you can't move the obsidian for a portal, you can't move bedrock as... You can't even mine it. How could you move it? Okay, guys. So now I'm moving away from the other hoppers, compounders, clocks, and the compounders, the hoppers going into chests. And we are moving over into some droppers and dispensers. It's pretty funny, I dropped the dropper. But okay, here we go. So I'm just going to get something to power it. Okay, and we'll get some random blocks. Let's choose some redstone blocks. Okay, so what we're going to have to do now, what is the difference, mind you, between the dispenser and the dropper, apart from its face, one looking happy, one looking shocked? <laughs> uh, you can actually, what happens, for most of the part, they're the same, as in I'll put them in both one like the dropper will just drop it spencer can dispense it as and push it out randomly and it gets quite annoying sometimes with where it goes as in see watch this i'll hop out away mm, yeah i moved pretty far this one i'll move a bit further so that's actually not the main reason or the main difference between them you can actually get a water bucket, which if I put in the dropper, will just simply drop the water bucket. If you put it in a dispenser, now this is where magic happens. Okay, so what you can do, you can do this, and it'll actually dispense water, oh my gosh. And yeah, keep in mind, water breaks redstone. Wow, 
Okay, I forgot about that. Okay, so that other creation which we just did just got destroyed by water. Hmm. Oh, okay, so now in the redstone tab, you also have pressure plates. So, I'm just going to get a stone pressure plate here. Very basic, made with two stone, as in not cobblestone, but smelted. We'll get you this. And I'm going to get an iron door and a trap door, iron trap door. So keep in mind that other ones, like a normal iron, like a normal door and a normal trap door, anyone can just walk right through it. Same with a trap door. But with an iron one, I'm right clicking as hard as I can. And nothing happens. They need a redstone to pound them. So these are very useful pressure plates as you can make them to do all sorts of stuff. They can make them, so that's how you get into your house. So I'm gonna get some nice wood over here. Yep, I'm just gonna grab some jungle wood. Um, might as well decorate with some trapdoors. There you go, come in. Bam! Door closes behind you. You don't need a you don't need to press any buttons or any weird stuff. And they are just for doors. As in you can just get normal redstone and just bam. So it puts out a signal like a button and a lever. So you gotta walk on this, you gotta flip this on and it'll always stay on. Or you can press a button and it'll press it while it's being pressed down. It'll make a redstone output. It's all pretty good. Now, one thing to notice: when you have the two um, different pressure plates, the main ones, not the light, light and heavy. That's for another video. But these first two, the oldest ones, what's the difference? Yes, one's made out of stone, one's made out of wood. Can we drop items on this one? No. Can we drop items on this one? Yes. Now that's the difference. So you, if you want to make like a puzzle or something, you can get people to make a fishing rod. And then they got to like, try and get the hook on the end to hit the fish plate and it'll light up. It's quite clever, you know. Now, the last thing we have, guys, is a tripwire hook. So these things, it basically gives one of the few uses for string. Apart from making bows, fishing rods, and blah, all that other stuff. Even dispensers use bows. Mm. But like, plain string without being crafted. The stuff just from the spiders. You can use it. So I'm just going to put down a few here. It doesn't look like much, but I'll get a block. Put it one gap. Now, these tripwire hooks, well, when it's like, eh, it's nothing. Until the last one's put in, and then it becomes a real thing. You can even hear it. I mean, like, all you need to do, I'm just going to get anything. Um, I'm just going to put it out here. Bam. I'm just going to have it like that. Bam. It sends a signal into the block it's on, which sends a signal to the blocks around it. So that can be quite helpful, for example, if you want to make a door with pistons. All you need to do, I'll grab those pistons. Have a block here. A thing here. There we go. Okay. Now this is actually something quite advanced. What you can do, if you want to make it so it say something's on when by default, so if we did just it normally. Um, oh, and that wouldn't work because you need to like have it redstone. 
There we go. Have it do that. It just close in front of your face and it'd be like a troll. It's like, who wants that? I want an actual door. I mean, come on. So what you can do, what you're actually gonna need to do with this, you're gonna actually need to lift it. One more and bring it out. One more. So we're gonna get a redstone torch. Oh, it's getting dark. Do that. So now a resin torch into that is normally on. But what you can do to cancel out a redstone torch, I'm just gonna move all this so none weird shenanigans happens. You can do that. And you can make redstone torches wear out. And make sure that nothing's on there. Because otherwise, duh, mayhem. Anyway, there we go. Okay. So what happens now? When you move it into it, it will. Okay, so generally guys, you're actually going to want to have to, unfortunately, have to do it like this. As that block just there. Oh wow, mobs this morning. Oh no. Flash times the day. It's another quick, easy thing. And you have cheats on. What you can do. So I'm just going to quickly do this now. Keep it on. This is the entrance. Just like so. Yeah, we made do. Okay. That works better. Because this block, when we were doing it, it was actually powering the piston right next to it. So this little machine, forget about this. Like, this isn't any importance right now. When you walk through, oh my gosh. That sound is like, oh, that sounds so much worse than a zombie. Let me just like quickly put this on peaceful. Okay, and then you can get through. So this actually can be quite a good thing to do when you have it just far enough away that when people look into it, they'll see, bam, go straight through, let's go. But you actually get pushed out to the side. So you can do mini trolls like that and who knows, you could get a lava bucket. I, by the way, I don't advise lava with um, wood, but for the lols. Go, go, go. Ah, I'm lava. Okay, I'm getting rid of that. I'm getting rid of that. That is going to burn my world down. And that's not, that's not a good thing, okay? Stop shouting at me that we want you, uh, that you want my world to burn down. Don't. Anyway. Yeah, so, um, that has been a basic redstone guide. We're covering a f quite a few of the things in the redstone category in your creative mode inventory. So, later on, I might do a more advanced redstone tutorial for people who have watched this and understand these things and think that they're ready for more advanced stuff. As in blowing up houses with fake and trolly iron doors. Iron doors that will kill you. So many things to explore. Especially these observers. These things are fun. Oh, and TNT. Yeah. But yeah, guys, I hope you have really enjoyed this mini kind of like basic guide and i'll see you on the next one bye